Welcome to RaiGoogle.com. In this video, we'll discuss about how to use Save Search in Jira or Saving Search in Jira. So let's under understand today's agenda. Then we'll move further with practical demo. We'll discuss here how to use or how to save search and how to use Save Search. And we'll see with practical example. So if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates so whenever we are talking about jira power jira issue search it's a very powerful issue search functionality is enhanced by the ability to save searches that is called as filters in jira for latter use we can also save this mechanism and use it at any point of time in terms of jira filters so how we'll do that by so by shares and email searches results with our colleagues or outside the organizations as well then creating list of favorite filters have search result email to us or with other person as well we can also view in rss or excel we can display the search result in repo format and display the search result in dashboard gadgets so this is all how we can save it and use it for further so if you can see here i already entered some jql so if you don't know about the jql please watch my previous session i will also include url in description that i already created two sessions on basic search one on advanced search and one on jql please watch that as well so that you able to understand each and everything in detail so if you can see here we have already searched something if you want to save it so you can click on save as add the name so add as a save gql and now click on submit once you will return back to this page you can use it directly from the filter sections so here we have already seen even you can mark it as a favorite or unstar it according to your need as well you can switch it to the basic so both the possibilities are available you can save it on jql mode as well as on the basic search jql is nothing but advanced search you can add the filter according to need for the view option if you want to share with someone else a part of the application you can share it or otherwise if you want to share within your colleagues you can directly share the link as well so this is the share mechanism you can use it even though you can export it and use it for the further reference now here you can bulk change the issue or import issue from the csv here you can use it rss feed or google sheets as well as excel sheet now this is all how we can add it if you want to modify this search you can modify it and use it for your needs so saving search it defines a runs our search and save it for the further use once you click on the save it will save the details and you can see the permission as well for saving content so rerunning a filter it means you have to select the searches and from the issues box you can add the direct filter for searching any fields so like here we have saved something earlier and click on this the whatever we have saved all the searches are available with previous search which we have saved it so we can add the filter according to our need we can remove the filter as per our need we can also save the searches which is which we have done it for basic search as well so saving for this we have already saved it let's uh, search it for some more project then we'll save it again if we need so if you want to save this you can also save it for further use you can delete the filter according to your need otherwise you can remove it that is unstar it uh, for deleting you have to just go to this and uh, think move 
more you can add the more reporter and the limits as well but when you will uh, switch to gql mode you can remove it for unst or unstar it now this is removed from your favorite list so that is all about the searching or filtering so click the search tab on the manage filter page and from manage filter page view all filters you can just have a look from this you can search it or manage your filter or if you want to create some more filter you can create it even though if you don't want to create your filter and delete it permanently for your search option you can directly delete it by this way you can add or create any other filter according to your need just click on this create folder and it will pop up with detail and you can include the filter according to your need so that's all about saving filter changing or updating filter as well as deleting the filter and modifying or adding in favorite mode or with favorite mode so that's all about saving search in jira hope you liked it if you really enjoyed this session consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates thank you for watching